In this video I will show you how I beat a Crucible run in under 9 minutes with the highest damage strength build. Even though it's a strength build we will use a ranged attack that gains focus with each damage dealt. Basically a build that has infinite focus. Ok let's get this started. I'm packing a strength weapon and I will show the full build at the end of the video. Every run has the same chambers but the order of them is random.
Okay, let's get on this build. Festering Earth is the highest damage weapon I found so far. This weapon with the fire throw rune makes a perfect combo for chaos and destruction. Now, there are a few other major things that help this build excel above all others, and that is the gain 7% focus on damage dealt. This with the focus gem and rings that also give me focus gain increased, will constantly replenish focus with each hit. Basically, when I'm using a skill instead of consuming the focus, I'm gaining more focus. So, I can spam my skills without the need to refill my focus as I'm constantly gaining focus. The 3% health on damage dealt is also helping me steal life, so in theory it's almost impossible to die with this build. For the shield, I never use it. I only have it on me to do the daily bounty challenges, as sometimes they will involve challenges that ask you to block 10 enemies. Next, we have the armor. Now, a thing to know is that if you don't enchant items and just have the common ones, you can add up to 4 gems instead of 1. For the armor I think this is the best option as you can add incredible good gems like health increase, stamina increase, focus increased and armor. Next we have the helmet. There are probably higher armor helmets in the game, but this was the only one I could find with this amount of armor that it has. And that also gives 18% increase equip load. 
For a high defense build to be able to effectively dodge roll out of danger, it's a huge deal. Lessen the weight put me at the limit on the normal weight. Now, let's get to the pants. These are overall good pants in every way. They got good defense, increased armor stat, item weight reduced, and finally for the Crucible it's actually really good to have plague resistance as the final boss will hit you a lot with plague attacks. I also added more armor with a gem. Overall good pants. Now, the gloves are nothing special but they have good defense. And again they give me that equip load increase to make me lighter and be able to dodge roll. Now, for the rings. I got two rings of Band of Calmness that both give me increased focus stat and focus gain from all sources. They have slight changes on the focus gain stat. The third ring is a ring that gives more bonus damage to rune skills. I tested and it will not increase the buff runes like healing rune. Only the runes that deal damage. Now, in the middle I have a blood rusted sword that you can buy from the blacksmith. I am using this only for the buff runes like Heal Aura, Damage Surge and Blink. The Heal Aura heals 25 points of my health. The Damage Surge is a buff that slightly increases my damage. And Blink is a skill that can teleport me across the map. Now, on my third weapon slot, I have Hero's Great Axe with the Lighting Assault rune. This is also a very powerful weapon that can literally melt the boss's health. If you are interested, you can check my previous video on that build. Lastly, here are my stats. Most of my points are in strength as the weapon I'm using requires me to have 42 points in the strength stat. Then we have 34 points in equip load to get my weight class to normal. Focus and health are the next two important stats in this build, as the focus will let me spam more skills and the health will give me more survivability. And that's it! The best strength build. It has high survivability with a lot of armor and health. It has high mobility with weight under normal and blink spell to teleport across the map. And most importantly, it has unlimited range damage without the need of using focus potions. Keep in mind that the game is still in early access, so certain things might change with future patches. I hope this video helps you in your wicked journey. If you liked this video consider subscribing and if you have any questions leave them in the comments.